That is sounding really sick. Wolfpack. Assemble! What's going on? It's TC. And this is Making Foghorns in Vital. Firstly, if you're new to the Wolfpack, a very warm welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. And if you find any of the information in this video useful, please smash the like button. If you're not already part of the community, part of the Wolfpack, hit the subscribe button to receive notifications every time I upload some fresh new information. Also, don't forget to check out my samples and presets for Vital, Massive, FMA. Check out my t-shirts and the, not these hats, other hats. Check out my t-shirts and hats. Follow my Anthems playlist on Spotify. Follow my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Links in the description. So I'm going to show you how I make foghorns in Vital. I'm going to try to. So let's go. So here we are in Ableton. I've got Vital loaded up here. There's an ethos behind making foghorns. I feel like the best foghorns I've ever made were using a simple analog synth like my Moog, plugging it into a channel strip or preamp and then distorting the preamp. And the Moog has quite a simple framework. It's literally two oscillators through an envelope generator and then into a filter. And with the Moog, you can attach the filter to the envelope generator. So I'm going to emulate that here. I would probably choose a square wave for the wave on the Moog. I'm going to take this filter here, Let's activate. I'm going to take this envelope generator, then activate the filter down here. Let's take off the resonance a little bit. Let's attach the envelope to the filter. And it can be the same envelope that is controlling the VCA or the volume of the oscillator. Because with a simple synth, that's what you're going to have. So let's uh, test that. Nothing going on there. Let's put on a slight attack. Let's turn the cutoff down. Let's take off the decay and the sustain to zero. Okay, so that's simple. We've got this wow kind of sound. Let's elongate the release. Elongate the decay. Let's take the cutoff down. So we're getting a simple wow, which is kind of foghorny. I'm going to take the voices down to one, switch on the legato down here. And really, the, most of the stuff going on is going to be with this distortion. So switch on the distortion and the compressor after it. And the more we distort, so imagine that the distortion is now becoming an emulation of the preamp. And with a good preamp, it's going to have distortion, but only in the low end. So I'm going to switch on this filter post the distortion, turn down the resonance and the cutoff down to about 200 or 300 hertz. I'm going to mix the two signals together. And that's beginning to sound a little bit like what we're looking for. It could be a bit more distorted. There we go. And as I turned up the the master volume there, it started to sound a little bit better. I'm going to take an EQ and just boost this whole top end. And I don't mind that it's going into the clipping here. That doesn't bother me. So that's a very simple start to making a foghorn bass. Let's... let's Let's think about how we're going to flavor that bass now. I'm going to switch on the second oscillator and then turn down the level of it completely. And I'm going to take the FM, or well basically I'm going to use FM on the first oscillator, but using the second oscillator as a reference here. So FM from oscillator two. And if I take a slight amount of the envelope to that FM amount, is starting to sound very crispy. Let's just duck this a little bit on the output. Sounding nice. And 
And I could uh, mess around with these other controls here. Sounded very foghorny. I could change the pitch of this second oscillator. Or even the formant or the sync. So you get the basic idea. What I'm doing is emulating an older synth going into a preamp. The preamp is this distortion here. The compressor just brings it all up. I would almost like to make it more squashed. Sounding very nice. The other thing I would do would be to take this random and just put it onto this fine pitch here and just the slightest amount of random 0.6 or just just like 0 0.06 is just great. And take the second random here and do it minus 0.4. And then I think the last touch is going to be some reverb here before the compressor but after the distortion. And even larger. That is sounding really sick. So that is basically how I would make a foghorn in Vital. So if you found anything in this video interesting, please smash, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so that you can keep up to date with all this new from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have any ideas for future videos, I read all your comments and I try and reply to them too. Don't forget to check out my sites in the description below for samples and presets. They really are incredible value for money. £4.20. £4.20, dude. A massive big up to all the wolf pack. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found some value in this video and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.